Hey everybody, welcome back. So we got field 15, the barley field done. Uh, let's hop out of the combine for a second. So we got 226,000 liters out of that field. Would like to get more next year from that field, depending on what crop we take. But definitely looking for a higher yield. We're going to do the oat, and then we're going to do the wheat in field 26. We're just going to leave it with a straw swath off because we have plenty of bales which we will need to buy a trailer to collect those with now easier to stack them, transport them, so on and so forth if anybody knows of an auto load semi trailer that can do it let me know what we're going to do right now is open this up on the ends Hopefully we get a good yield off this little field. I didn't see as many weeds in this one compared to what we had in field 15 and what we had in the sorghum field in the back as well. But hopefully we can make it work. We'll get this going and then probably hop into a time lapse. We have rain on the way, so that's why I'm going to go over and do the wheat field. And that should, I mean, ultimately that will probably take this entire episode anyway. So, I'll have to set up a auto drive track over there for the cart, because we'll need that again. There we go. For you professionals out there, obviously turn it off. Don't want to pull up all these weeds, shrubbery and all that, you know. Let's get it lined up. I just realized, so on this save as well, I do not have GPS on or the vehicle add-on enhanced vehicle combo. Oh well, a lot of these fields anyways, I think we'll be focusing more on course play, auto drive, to be our operations. Uh, we've got this open. Think down on the other end. I think we can swing that. I think there's some leeway down there to pull out, turn around, come back down. Yeah, we're getting into it. So I'm probably gonna hop into a time lapse now that we've got this opened, and I'll see you guys in a bit.
All right, so the oat field is done. Uh, we'll go bring that over to the large silo bay. That way it's quick and ready to go. I'm not taking up one of our major bins. Sorry about earlier, a little laggy in the cab. Not sure what's going on with that. And physics at farm sim strike again. So I ran into these signs down here. No damage was done. Very impressive, I might say. Anyway, we're going to head over here. We'll probably get course place set up to do a couple headlands on this wheat. And this actually... Let's not take the mailbox out. You know what? Let's drop it here. Let's see if we can kind of open this up a little bit. There we go. Like I said, we're not going to drop any straw swaths. Uh, let's go into course play. After it does its saving, really need to remember to sh shut that off. Alright, course deactivated. Stop it and correct. Turning on field. Yes, yes, raise tools. Straw swath. We're deactivating it, as I said. Field work looks good there. On my repair, everything looks fine to me there. So, let's. Oh, I need to actually clear that course. Clear the current course. We'll head in here. We will create a job, field work. Uh, let's go set. Uh, location's never where it's supposed to be. Start at first waypoint, like so. We're good with that. We'll open up the course. We want to do. And. Let's just do up and down. Uh, let's do three headlands. We want to make them sharp this time. Uh, let's do 8% overlap. And that should be good. And then we'll generate for that field. And there we are, folks. So we will... Not sure what's happening there. That was... Very interesting. Uh, very interesting. Not sure why they did that. Or it unhooked everything, but we'll come back and touch that up later. Now let's go run this truck in. And put it in the silo. And we don't need auto drive. I think what we're going to do on this one is we're going to stay with, being we don't have to bail. We'll just we'll drive the Massey 8S Special Edition. And I think we can do a pretty good job covering that the whole time. You've already seen enough of the combine at work, so now you can see some of the the pole labor. There goes the old Jake break. Let's see if we can get in here. Need to get a weight scale for the farm. Uh, I know there's been a few out there. So there we go. We're over. Let's dump that oat out. We'll have to see later on what the prices are looking at for that and when the possible sell point could be. All set. There we go. We're going to pull just ahead. We're going to stay on this driveway. Try not to use the major driveway over by the house. There is a driveway next to the shed, but it's got a lot of blind spots, and I don't want to run over one of my workers, so we're not going to worry about that. A little bit of Jake right there. I might leave this off to the side for right now until, ah, uh, you know what, we can get it over in between telephone poles. And like I said, we'll have to pick up those bail stacks. So. Traffic looks good. Haven't seen any cars today. Slow, steady day. Um, there we 
go. Oh, is the worker caught? Don't tell me the worker's caught up. There we go. The worker's figuring it out. We're just going to leave it like that right now. Worst case scenario, we'll turn around on the field. Actually, you know what? Let's back it up a little bit. I'll shut it down, let it sit for a while, and run over. We'll grab the chaser bin or cart, whatever you would like to call it, and we will go take care of business. The fuel is not bad in this. Like I said, we don't need auto drive. Uh, do you guys prefer the HUD on or off, by the way? I had a message sent to me by a follower that asked me, why do I always shut the heads up display off? I do just because it kind of cleans the picture up and when I find a moment I can get a good screenshot. It usually makes it a little simpler to do it. And yeah, if it's something you all want to see on, I have no problem leaving it on. Definitely need to give this a bath after, by the way. Also, I really don't want to hit those signs. So what I'm going to do right now is we will hop into a time lapse and I will go with the combine for a little bit until we're ready to start chasing it down with this when they get the headline open. See you guys in a bit.
All right. This looks like this will be the end of our wheat harvest for year one. We really get in before the rain. We still have two soybean fields, one large sorghum field, and one corn, which the corn is not ready yet. So we don't have to rush too much other than chasing the weather. Or I should say staying ahead of it. And there we go. I'll go dump this in the trailer. Going through that. I did put the wheat in the metal bin. The prices for wheat don't seem to ever really get high yet. So I think we're just going to keep piling up because I think wheat or oat might be my straw producer on a smaller field. And like I said, soybeans I think we'll go with again. Uh, corn will definitely be something we'll keep going with, I think. And yeah. If you guys know any crops or want certain crops we should probably plant that you think will be valuable to us on this map, let me know. We've got time. We've got a lot of tillage stuff to do still after. Uh, I don't think we're going to do any direct planting. Just because this will... We didn't plant the original stuff, so I don't fully know where it's at. In the previous ownership, so we'll be working on that, trying to figure that out, what's best for the crops. Like I said, probably just start fresh, uh, clean them right up, obviously take the rocks out, stuff like that. Uh, for now, I think we're doing pretty good, and I think this is where we're going to leave the episode off. So thanks again for stopping in, watching. If you enjoyed this, please consider hitting that like button, sharing it with some friends.